Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today is Wednesday, 14th of February, 2024. So this is Valentine's Day. And so I wish my subscribers a very happy Valentine. Now, I timestamp my videos to let people know that the information contained therein is data. So they don't watch it out of time and act on it as if it's new. Now, without further ado, where can we park money so we can pack money out? Now, you guys know I've been on holiday in uh, Kenya and other East African countries. I just got back, you know, so right now, you know, I'm able to be more focused on giving you regular updates. But I want people to understand something like on August 13th, 2023, I told you guys to invest in NVIDIA. And at that time, that stock was $435. And right now, the stock has almost doubled in value. And it's still going to go up. You know, I foresee NVIDIA getting to about 850 before June. And consistently, I've given you guys stocks. And, you know, the stocks make you guys money. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Tesla, if it's Costco Wholesale, Netflix, I'm giving you guys a number of stocks, Amazon. I mean, at various points in time, I've given you guys over 25 stocks. And a lot of you have asked me, what is your secret for picking stocks? What's the secret for making us money? Here's the thing. I've told you guys before, the best thing to do is to follow an index. And I choose of all the indexes, the best index, in my opinion, is the S&P 500. But I don't just rely on the S&P 500. I also look at the S&P 500 and then I look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And then finally, I look at the Nasdaq Composite. Now, if you look at the Nasdaq, the thing about the Nasdaq, why I can't just rely on the Nasdaq is that the Nasdaq, they want companies to list on them exclusively. So as long as you are a company that went public after 2004, you cannot list on the New York Stock Exchange if you want to list on the NASDAQ. So we have to list on, exclusively on the NASDAQ. So I can look or a, a good investor cannot look on the NASDAQ just exclusively. So what I tend to do is I follow the S&P 500. And then if a stock is listed on the S&P 500 and is also listed on the NASDAQ, because you got to understand the NASDAQ, there are two I mean, indexes that you can track on NASDAQ. So you've got the NASDAQ composite, which is an, it's a weighted index of almost all the stocks on the NASDAQ stock exchange. And then you also got the NASDAQ 100 which is probably right now is going to be about the most profitable index in the whole world because it tends to be weighted very heavily on the side of artificial intelligence or IT companies, which are right now, you know, very hot cake. So if a stock is on the S&P 500 and is also listed on the NASDAQ, it's a good, it's just, in fact, it's a must buy. So for example, the NVIDIA stock, is listed on the S&P 500 and is also listed on the NASDAQ. So that means it's something that's available for you to buy on the New York Stock Exchange and on the NASDAQ because it was a company that was founded in 1993, went public in 1999, so it beats the 2004 rule for the NASDAQ. So it's a good buy. With picking stocks, you don't want to get an okay price for a company that is not in any of these indexes. So I see a lot of people telling me, you know, just give us some good stocks, you know, like, you know, that are not too expensive. You don't want that. You're going to lose money. It's like buying a house. You want to struggle. Make sure that you buy a house in a good neighborhood. Because if you buy an okay house in a bad neighborhood, you're, you're not going to make money because it's the location that determines the value of the house. So it doesn't matter. Struggle so you can get a good house at a good price in a good neighborhood than to get an okay house you know at an okay price in a bad neighborhood so the same thing you want to do with stocks that are within your reach you know maybe you want to buy a stock and then for five dollars or two dollars you're not going to make money from those stocks so you want to focus on the stocks that are in the 14500. 4500 simply means that they are among the 500 largest corporations in America. Yes, they're going to be expensive. Some of them can be, be for one stock, it can be about up to $3,500 or even more, or almost $4,000 or more. And that might frighten you. But here's the thing. You do not have to buy one share, one company share. You can buy fractional shares. And I've explained this before, so you can watch that video. You can buy fractional shares.
and that's what you want to do don't buy inexpensive stocks buy valuable stocks which tend to be expensive because those are the stocks that are going to go up so i'll give you a very good example now the s p 500 index stocks in the s p 500 index for 2023 they increased by 25 percent so that means if you put in a hundred thousand dollars you would have made twenty five thousand dollars for 2023 if you look at stocks in the dow jams industrial average which is you know it's rather restrictive it's about 30 companies 30 stocks the annual return on investment for 2023 was about 14 percent now if you look at the nasdaq composite the roi for 2023 was 44 percent so that means if you put in a hundred thousand dollars you would have made forty four thousand dollars now it's not going to, always going to be like that for the nasdaq composite but this year i mean last year it was like that because of the exponential growth of ai companies which tend to be featured on the nasdaq but because you have to understand that the nasdaq is heavily weighted towards technology stocks towards ai it stocks so if you now look at take that into consideration if you look at the overall u.s stock exchange and then you compare the performance of the overall u.s stock exchange it doesn't even come near to any of these so overall of the u.s stock exchange you're looking at between five and seven percent so you can see that it's better for you to go for the stocks the largest stocks in america because those tend to be the most profitable you look at their net, their net asset value the way it grows so what I would recommend for people to do, if you follow me, obviously I'm always going to be giving you stock picks and you're going to make money from, the, from these stock picks. But if you want to just go on the front of your own, make sure that you get these stocks that are listed on the S&P 500 index and are also listed on the NASDAQ composite, preferably on the NASDAQ 100. Once you have stocks that are hitting those two parameters, you're going to make money. It's, I mean, obviously, you can't say it's a guarantee because these are financial instruments and anybody who tells you it's a guarantee is being unethical, but it's almost a guarantee. If you look at the you know, last 10 years, people who have done what I've just told you have never lost money. So that's what I would recommend for you. If you look at NVIDIA right now, that stock, you know, from almost nowhere, it's overshot and it's overtaking Amazon. It overtook uh, Google, you know, their stocks went, their, their total market capitalization went to 1.8 trillion. And the reason, the only reason why I picked that stock was because it featured on the S&P 500 and then on the NASDAQ 100. So that's what I'm going to tell you. That's the best way to pick stocks. If you go outside of this, you're going to make money. Now, some people will tell me, you know what, you know, um, I don't have enough money, so I'm going to wait until I have more money to invest. Look, no matter how much money you have in the bank, pull them out, pull them out. Because if you look at what the banks are giving you, the rates on the, uh, you know, the interest rates that banks are giving you, they are far lower than the rate of inflation. In other words, your money is reducing in banks. But when you take the rate of inflation and you compare it to what I've just given you for last year, 25% return on your investment for the S&P 500, 44% for the Nasdaq, and then 40% for the Dow Jones. You see that your money is safer in stocks. So that's what I'm, I'm going to encourage you. Get your money out of banks, put them in stocks. Now, if you watch this, you've got questions arising from this, and you are a subscriber of mine on the X platform, give me a second, on the X platform. If you are a subscriber of mine, I'm going to tell you, ask your questions there, and I'm going to respond to you. I'm going to answer your questions, time that I always do. Especially now that I'm back on, uh, you know, at my base, I'm no longer on vacation. But if you're not a subscriber of mine, you're not even going to see this video until eight hours out of time. In which case, most or all of the information I'm telling you here is going to be obsolete. So I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to me. And subscribing to me is very easy. You go on the X platform, you search for me at Renova Blockery. And then on the top right hand corner of my profile, you're going to see a subscribe tab. Click on it, follow the prompts, and then you're a subscriber. Every day, I give stock, crypto, investment tips on rates, on ETFs, on precious metals, on forex, or just basically however way you can make money. So if you follow me, every day you're going to get tips on how to invest your money. And it's impossible to subscribe to me on X and not make money. Now, this is of Marketing of Hustle of Prosperity back from vacation saying, God bless you.